hello there everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos so it has been a while but now that I'm on summer vacation I'm hoping to make some more videos for you I am actually making lots of them but they're all for the big uh, picture classes uh, website so if you're interested you can always subscribe and I've already got two classes up so today um, in this video I'm going to be showing you a little layout I created so I am working um, with uh, really simple colors I'm using um, two pattern papers one is a really simple one with lots of um, typing on it and I'll be using another one which is a mix of turquoise and gold and um, I've already cut out uh, some circles using my cameo and I will leave a link to the cut file here in on my blog so if you want to you can recreate um, the layout as well or maybe use the cut file for another project and I'm going to be using these circles really as focal point to the whole layout. So I just cut out my photo in a circular shape, a bit larger, and just placed it beneath. And I'm going to do the same with the uh, turquoise and gold paper. And I'm really placing the middle section of my cutter onto that paper, and I will be getting equal parts of gold and turquoise. So I'm just going to use three of these accent pieces starting from the bottom and working my up, way up to the top just to create a bit of flow and I usually work in pairs, well not in pairs, well in threes. So here I'm um, using punches to punch out those shapes and I'm popping them beneath the white cardstock just because I like the effect of the white on um, the pattern paper. It is a really simple layout. I'm just working with lots of circles, trying to bre break up the circles from the die cut with other circles like this lovely badge, which is from a brand called Scrap Buttons, and they make uh, really fabulous buttons. Uh, you've got shiny ones, but you've, this one is more like a paper finish, has a paper finish to it. You've got some which have a kind of canvas on it, so you can paint on it. There are others with a canvas on it, like an, a sheet of uh, aquarelle paper, watercolor paper, and with a watercolor kind of stamp on it and you can just add a bit of water and that stamp will start to dissolve. So they've got lots of fabulous stamps. They also make these fab little watercolor pigments. So I'll leave a link to their website below. I'm using this really lovely um, acetate, well thick plastic uh, word which was in a Studio Calico kit. And I also typed out a little bit of journaling which I'll be using on my layout. So here I'm mixing and matching fonts and sizes. As you can see the journaling is quite small. And there we have it. I would love to have uh, a printer which would print onto the 30 by 30 centimeter page or the 12 by 12 inch pages. But uh, it's just I don't use it nearly as much as I sh I want to and the expense is maybe just a little bit too much. Just adding some embellishments here and using my l most loved EK Success label punch just to add a little, some little features to the side because my design is essentially horizontal but I need um, a vertical focal point as well. So I'm going to be placing a little element more in the middle of on the left side of the paper and on the right side I'll be doing the same I'll be mimicking the same uh, little elements with a little label kind of using repetition but that will go on the right and more to the bottom so I'll be having flow from top from bottom to top and then from the right to the left as well trying to just get um, the eye to work its way around the page so there you go. I hope you like this layout. If you've got any questions, just pop them in the comment section, section either here on YouTube or on my blog, and I'll get back to you.
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.